Hey, good morning and welcome to The Chair. My name is Amy Bauman and I'm so glad that you're choosing to join us today. We are in the middle of our summer series, Best Summer Ever. And the Lord was very clear this week that he wanted to take a pause from gardening and motorcycling and talk about something that I believe is near and dear to his heart. Let's uh, take a few minutes and watch this video. Have you ever tried to be still? Life as we know it is constantly flowing, constantly moving, and it's not just us, it's the people around us. We enjoy the movement, we enjoy the action and the thrill of the adventure. We can let go and let something else lead the way. The lights and the sound and the beat of life while it's moving. There's a building of energy and excitement and the noise that replaces the racing thoughts, the what ifs, and the what's next. We know that while we're moving, while we're traveling, while we're busy, we don't really have to think. We can be distracted away from our situation, away from our problems, away from life itself. But there's a single verse in Psalm 46, 10, seven words that tell us what we need to do to truly live this life, to truly accept the situation and the trials and the tragedies what we need to do to be teaching our families and our loved ones and the people we know. These seven words will give us the kind of peace that we are looking for from the distractions of life. Nothing else will fill the hole that we are trying to fill with the busyness of this world. It's only when we can be still and know that he is God will we be able to enjoy the gift of life we have amongst the challenges. It's only when we can be still and know that he is God will we understand the purpose and the plan that he has for us while we're living in this broken world. It's only when we can try and set aside time with God and allow him to speak to us that we will truly be able to know what he is trying to say to us, that he loves us, that he has a plan and a purpose for our lives, that he wants us to share that love with others, that he wants us to bring his kingdom here to earth. So why are we talking about this during a summer series, best summer ever? I mean, I started with gardening and then last week was motorcycling and next week I have another great adventure to show you. But I, I believe that God wanted us to take a pause because if your summer schedule looks anything like mine, I am just trying to pack in as much adventure as possible while the weather is the way that it is. And I think a lot of times we do that. Summertime, you know, the kids are off of school generally. Um, we have some vacation that we've saved up to travel. We, we wanna go camping. We wanna do the things that we can while it's summer. And um, as I was kind of reviewing this and looking at some statistics, I really believe that's why God wanted us to talk about this today because summer just kind of accentuates what busyness is all about and as we're loading up our our schedules with trips and and getaways and um, time to be outside time to be enjoying summertime we need to look at the the deeper issue that i think a lot of us face and that is that busyness can distract us from the trials of life. Busyness can help us stay busy to stop thinking about maybe some of the problems that we are experiencing. And maybe busyness can help mask what 40 million Americans alone deal with on a daily basis, and that's stress and anxiety. 
And when I started looking at the numbers and started understanding what this anxiousness is and started hearing from other people that I walk alongside of and counsel and mentor is that anxiousness is something that they're really struggling putting away, putting aside and dealing with. And so busyness, busyness is something that can easily distract and take the place of for a little while. And while they ask me, will, will deep breathing help? Will, will yoga help? Will walking help? Will meditation help? My answer to all of those is uh, it may help you for a moment, but you have to deal with the, the internal hole that you are trying to fill and that's the peace that only God can give you. All the other stuff will is like a band-aid, which will maybe give you a temporary fix. But the reason why the world, at least 40 million Americans, are struggling with this anxiousness and this stress is the stress of the world. The, the stress from the enemy trying to steal, kill, and destroy, trying to steal our joy, and most importantly, he's stealing our peace. And that's what we have to recognize, and that's what we have to fight against. So as we're looking at summertime and our schedules and the things that we're trying to do with our family and, and maybe trying to be outside and enjoy the weather, I know that is the way it is for people like in Michigan and, and those places that have seasons, right? We're trying to enjoy, but I think sometimes that deeper issue is we're trying to make ourselves busy to distract us from what's really going on. And that's why it's so important to know God's word, to know his truth. And that verse, Psalm 4610, that has been my life verse. And, and someone who has struggled with mental illness and depression and anxiety and racing thoughts to know that the only thing that was going to truly satisfy my soul that was going to truly give me the kind of peace that I could have is by knowing that I needed to be still and know that God is God superseded everything else that I was doing in those seasons of my life. And I can hold on to that verse and know that I need to be still. I need to take time and recognize who God is and what he's doing and where he's leading me and what he's trying to say to me and what his truth is. And to only do that, I need to slow my life down. I need to create space to spend time with him. I need to create space to be in his word. And all the busyness and all the distractions and my busy schedule is never going to help me do that. I need to be able to make time to be with him. And when I do that, every single time I do that, he shows me. He gives me that peace. He whispers in my ear how much he loves me and, and that he's walking with me and that I'm not alone. And the world seems to fade away. And I'm left with just him and me sitting on a bench or sitting underneath a tree, enjoying the kind of peace that only he can give me. And so as we look at having the best summer ever, whatever that may look like for you, I just want to encourage you that you are never going to experience your best life. You are never going to experience the kind of peace that you are looking for unless you allow God to take you by the hand, help you to be still, and to know that He is the true source of the peace that you are looking for, and that He wants to give you His peace, His joy, His love, and He wants to remind you of who you are and whose you are, and that He has a plan and a purpose for you. So I just pray that as we finish out the summer, as that you finish out the, the times that you have scheduled, the, the fun meetings and the appointments and the vacays and all those things, 
that you create space to spend time with God. Because when you can be still and know who he truly is, he's going to rush in and fill that spot in your heart that you are trying to fill with all the other things. Only he can give you the kind of peace that you need. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you. I thank you that you love us so much that you wanted us to pause and remember that, that you have great plans for us, that you want to be the kind of peace that, that you give us, right? That shalom, that nothing missing and nothing broken, that you want to rush into our hearts and fill all of the empty spaces and, and help us to know that we are loved, that, that we are forgiven, and that you have a plan for our lives. And so I just pray for each person watching today, each person listening, that you will meet them, that you will help them, that you will heal them, that you will be that kind of peace that they are looking for. We just thank you, Lord, for who you are and what you're doing and how much you love us. And we ask all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus, who saves. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today and for being a part of our Best Summer Ever series. Next week is the final week. We have something exciting planned. And then we'll be heading into August where I will be interviewing Taylor Jensen. He is a minister from California who God gave me this divine connection to. And so I'm really excited for that. That's coming up in a couple weeks, so you're not going to want to miss it. And then, of course, the very first of August, that first Tuesday of August, we are celebrating one year of the chair. I'm just so grateful for this opportunity. This last year has just flown by, and I am so appreciative of all of you for your prayers and support and for watching and listening each week. So lots of exciting things happening over the next couple of weeks. I hope you will join us. But thanks again for being here today. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, until we can be together again, be blessed.